Hi, today I'm going to show you how I made acrylic or lucite poles for the cabinets and drawers in my guest and children's bathroom. I went to my local plastics company and picked up a half inch diameter, 72 inch long piece of extruded acrylic. If you don't have a local plastics company, there are plenty of places that sell them online and I've seen them for as little as $6. You will also need 90 degree elbow short radius and half inch diameter and coupling reducing half inch to a quarter inch diameter. You need two of each of those per pull you're going to make. I'm making a total of five, so I got a total of 10 each. And the first thing I'm doing is using clear E6000 and gluing the pieces together. The reducing coupling should fit perfectly into one end of the 90 degree elbow. Then I took painter's tape to hold the pieces together while they dried. When these are all done, you want to let them sit for at least 24 hours to dry completely. Next, I took my doll rod and I made 10 marks, each one an inch apart in diameter. So I used a bandsaw to cut down my dowel rod, but I understand not everyone's going to have access to something like that. So really any handheld saw would do the trick and dowel rod is super easy to cut. And now I have 10 one inch pieces of dowel rod. So this is the end result we're going for. The dowel rod pieces are cut a little longer than they need to be so they can be glued into the copper pipe and then sawed down to be smooth and flush with the end of the pipe. The dowel rods fit perfectly on their own, but I decided to sand mine down very slightly to give a little bit more room for the adhesive to fill in around them. Next, I used liquid nails to glue the dowel rods into the end of the copper pipes. If I were to start this project over again from the beginning, I would have used liquid nails or JB Weld or something along those lines to glue the copper pipes together instead of using E6000. I did have to go back and re-glue two of the pieces that I had used the E6000 on. That being said, after re-gluing them, they have held up fine. I just think that the liquid nails, I probably wouldn't have had to have re-glued anything at all. I used a lot of liquid nails. Some of it squished out, but was easily wiped up with a paper towel. After the glue had completely dried, I used the band saw again to saw off the access dowel rod that was hanging out from the bottom of the copper pipe. Again, you don't have to have a band saw. You can use any type of saw you have. When I was done cutting off the access dowel rod, I just took a piece of sandpaper and smoothed the ends out a little bit better. If you want the look of copper, then skip this next step. I, on the other hand, have gold finishes throughout my home, so for a more seamless look in the bathroom, I decided to go ahead and spray paint these using the Krylon Brilliant Gold, which is my absolute favorite shade of gold spray paint. I was having a hard time reaching everything I needed to, so I taped some popsicle sticks to a can and was able to get better coverage that way. Next, I laid the copper pipe out to start measuring. I know that I want my handles to be 9 inches from one edge to the other, so when I laid them out 9 inches apart, I can see that I need 6.5 inches of acrylic rod showing. Then I took a scrap piece of acrylic rod to see how far into the pipe it was going to go. That ended up being exactly 3 fourths of an inch. So if I add that to each side, I now know that I need five pieces of eight inch long acrylic rod. I marked the acrylic rod at eight inch increments. Again, I used the band saw to cut these pieces down, but if you don't have a band saw, that's fine. Again, just use a regular saw or a hand saw of some sort 
scoring the acrylic enough to be able to snap the pieces in half. I also laid towels down so that I wouldn't scratch the acrylic. Acrylic scratches really easily. And here we have all five pieces. So we're not going to be seeing the ends of these, but if we were going to, it would be super easy to polish. All you do is sand the ends smooth and then hold a torch about six inches away for about a minute or less. And finally, it's time to glue the acrylic rods into the copper pipes. I did end up using E6000 for this part, only because the E6000 that I have is translucent and the liquid nails is not. I didn't want to be able to see any adhesive through the clear acrylic rod. That being said, the acrylic rod has held up great with the E6000. I haven't had any trouble with it coming loose. I haven't had to re-glue anything. It has been perfect. You want to make sure you do this part on a flat and level surface. Whenever you glue the acrylic rod into the copper pipes, you want to stand it up straight and flat on that level surface. This ensures that it'll be level up against your flat cabinets or drawers whenever you install them. Wait another 24 hours after being completely done with the step and then you can drill pilot holes into the dowel rod on the bottom of the hardware. And here they are, my DIY acrylic cabinet and drawer poles. I couldn't be happier with how these turned out. They are absolutely gorgeous. And for the price tag of under $6 a piece, you really can't beat that especially for nine inch long cabinet poles. I could not wait to get these installed in the bathroom. I've recently refinished the countertops and the cabinets, which I will be posting about soon. And I'm also in the middle of several other DIY projects for this bathroom that I will be sharing as well. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.